Okay, this will be interesting. Welcome everyone, excited. Uh, we're playing China. I am not, I, I don't play China in general, but I have played, I've played games with them before, you know. I've played games with every sim before. Uh, but, I don't know, I just been, I've been playing a little bit lately, and they're a lot of fun. I, I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed uh, the game I had, the, the last game I had is them. Um, uh, just the scaling of everything that they do is just crazy good, and it was just, it was a lot of fun, so that's what we're gonna go for here. Pretty standard deck, I think. Uh, I actually, I haven't, like, looked up how you play China or anything, so I'm just going by the seat of my pants, but that's, that's fun to me. So, yeah, let's do this. Um, I love Stepe Riders, and... Uh, the Chukonu, Chukonu, their spam ability is just hilarious to me, and they're so much fun. So, that's kind of what we'll go for, is just mass, we'll mass age 2, we'll go age 3, we'll do whatever we want, and I think it'll be fun, I think it'll be fun. Uh, I especially Keshix. Keshix are really good, to, they feel good at least. Uh, maybe they're not actually strong, but I really, I really enjoyed spamming them and Chukonu. So we'll just we'll just do a little everything, and we're going against Iro or Hadanoshoni, or however you say their name. So that that'll be interesting. Very both very age two focused civs. So we'll see what we do here. Uh, let's herd this in. And villages. I, I just there's so many things I love so much. Having villages is so nice. Just be able to just like kind of sit, go out on the map wherever you want, and drop them, and build there. Was it's just it's really good. Okay, we do have an Oldenburg, so maybe we could pair that with some H two pressure to uh, to do like you know an H two sort of boomy pressure thing. Kaboom. One thing I don't understand, I don't like, is why Asian civs have like this thing where like their their vills don't shoot guns. They're like guns instantly. Like they take time to wind up. It's really weird to me, and I don't un quite understand the purpose of it. A weird pathing. Oh, it's a trade route. That's why. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, let's actually just go this way. Do we ship this? I actually, I like I said, I don't un know build orders for China, so I don't know if I'm supposed to ship that or not, but I see people have it in their deck sometimes, so I'm shipping it, I don't know. Oh, and having red coats mixed in too is also just really nice. You have like your massive Chuko new and other things, and then you just like have red coats there as well. Uh, there's just so many things I love about about this sieve. Uh, I suppose we could come get this after we grab this. Thirteen. Let's grab three, five. We'll get like what six here on wood. I want to grab a market and all that stuff. Oh, uh, let's grab this. First card, I think, will be 700. We could get Cossacks. We could get whatever we want, guys. Resource trickles. And I really like the HP, though. But maybe minus cost? Let's go German allies. I did British allies last time. Switch it up, you know? Where did that go? Is this where my hunts went? Wow, that's... Okay, the hunts are annoying nowadays. I don't know if they got changed or what happened, but they're always super annoying. Okay, we can get food trickle. We're almost to 250. Maybe we go wood trickle. 
Yeah, let's just wait till we get that full 250 and go wood trickle. Let's grab this. Do 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 do. Uh, go 700 wood. Let's grab the wood trickle. Let's get a couple of y'all in here. Oh, okay, he's got forward thing here. So we yeah, we we totally need the barracks. I totally forgot to build the war, war academy. Hopefully, that does not come back to bite us. Okay. Uh, sh sh sh. So let's go real heavy on the food wood. And we'll get the bow pike army. Oh, I just totally unplugged my thing. Accidentally unplugged my headphones. Uh, I want this. It's 180. That's that's really a lot. Uh, let's get on that. Can we get it? Please. <sighs> Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Can we get another barracks dropped? Up another village. Let's grab this. Um, let's go with the nine of these. Oops. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's grab this. Okay, let's set this to coin. Oh yeah. Let's get another one of these if we can. Oh, we need housing. Uh, boop, boop. Okay, so apparently I overpopped. Let's get food trickle. Okay, this cheaper, cheaper things and the food trickle paired together are really nice. Oh, these are supposed to be that. There. Can I get one of these or something? Okay, so this is much cheaper on the wood and it's full counter cav. Let's actually undo that. I want this. And I want this. I have pretty good siege. Uh, let's get you on there, you on there. Let's see what we can do here with that. There's a few too many on there. Uh, let's go seven steppes. Actually, let's go... Yeah, no, seven seconds. Uh, let's undo that, and then send that. And then, oh, how much is this? 200? Like, what kind of scaling is this? How is this sieve not OP? Or not considered OP? Uh, let's grab this. Let's 
I guess because it's like their units are bad, technically, but they don't feel that bad. Like, when I use them, they feel good. So I don't know. Uh, I suppose I'll go this next. Uh, let's grab that, and that. Okay, he's got a lot of Tamas. I suppose I just keep going this, then. Okay, what do I go here? Do I go Steppe Rider Chuko New or Mongolian Scourge? Both are strong. If I can get some Dops out, that'd be pretty good. I think I'll go this. No. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Thought I had what beat those. I guess step riders are really bad against uh other cav. Yeah. They're very bad against other cav. But Chuko New are actually pretty good against Cav comparatively. Okay, let's go with this. Uh let's grab couple batches of these. Okay, I'm gonna be needing food now. I suppose if I'm up on wood, I can just grab some of these. Doesn't hurt. Yeah, let's just grab... Oh, 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 oh. Wow, he's really forward. Yeah, now they're two X versus Bills. <laughs> That's fun. Chukonu flamethrower, a Chukonu banner armies. I mean, I have thirty. Back this up here. We'll go this. Get on there. Get 
Yeah, I guess we you have to have king pikemen or whatever they're called. Pretty well necessary. Do we get a batch? I think I'll go ahead and switch this. Yeah, this is... Oh, he's actually on, like, all the trade posts. Okay. That makes some sense. Uh, can we leave you on coin? Wait. I didn't know China could get theirs to sh or, uh, I didn't know native sites could get theirs to, to build like that. Oh, they have advanced. I didn't even realize that. Mm, let's get on that. I have a lot of coin. Where's all this coming from? Okay, so I have a group here. Let's go claim that just so he can't have it, basically. Okay, we need to keep these pumpy now. Let's go take those down. Uh, do we go Grins? Do Cossacks? No, let's just get Musketeers. You know what? I'm gonna unsend that and send that instead. Uh, two more groups? Yes. Let's grab this. Let's go ahead and start dropping these forward. Let's grab some pike on them. Okay, the castle's actually great because we can get a food costing, a, a wood coin costing anti cab there via the. Oh. We can get a wood, uh, wood. This thing here. So it's like you can get anti cab there via food cost. Food coin cost specifically. Okay, he's already trying to rebuild there. Can I rebuild there? I mean, I could beat him at any moment. Honestly, why am I going after this? Let's just push him. Really simple. I mean, I'm scaled to like infinity here. My my army is literally massive. Like, I legit have 200 pop of army, pretty much. Or however much this is. Oh, 
Okay, having that that one train time is that's a lot. That's doing so much work here. <laughs> I just can't believe this army. Like, how? Like, okay, whatever. If this guy is not the best player, who cares? What? How, why is this? Yes. Well, what is this? Why are these armies able to get so big so fast? How many how many military units did I have? I want to go that. I want to go that. Military unit count. I had 150. Why did he? <laughs> why is this so good? Why is it so good? I don't even understand. I mean, I got a food and wood trickle, so that's. I mean, I guess I have 54 vills. Do their vills train faster or something? Like, I don't understand how I have such good eco. That, that's that, that's what confuses me, is I feel like I have such good eco and I don't know why. I mean, the mash Chukanu, Chukanu just feel like they do so much damage to Cav as well. You got Keshex out here. You go H3, you can get these Keshex up to, what, 40% range resist? 35%. And they'll just tank so much range damage while the Chukanus deal so much. And it's so easy to have a combined army. Like, I, at one point there, I had too much just Cav Chukano, so he could just go pure Cav and win. But it was so easy for me to just switch to wood and start building the anti-Cav army. And you can just hotkey your Chukanu and your Pikemen together, hotkey all your Cav together, and just, it's so easy, and you just win. Maybe I'm speaking too early though, but so far I've been doing well with them and it, it feels way too easy. I hope you all enjoyed and uh, I'll see y'all next time.